Go ahead and tee it up, Dennis. <laughs> There's a chance of redemption right now. <laughs> Take 19. <clears throat> <laughs> so, I mean, how did he, uh, how did you react to it when you heard the news? Or how did you find out, first of all? Like, who, who told you about it? Was it right when you landed, or were you already there? Nick, I swear, man, guy, we're, we're driving, and, you know, you get those big van things. We were 12 people, me, my wife, and my kids, her sister and her kid, and her, her man, L, my cousin Terry and his girl, my cousin Craig, his wife, Destiny, and their daughter, 12 of us. So we're in a big van driving to the uh, hotel. I get a call, and it's like, Daniel, this is unprecedented, crazy. I'm like, what? For this from the, UFC? Positive. from the UFC? Yeah. yeah. John Jones tested positive for steroids. It's Dana White. He goes, I, I, I feel horrible having to come to you with this type of news again, you know, because we've done that. We've been through this, you know, and uh, he just was like, he tested positive uh, for PEDs. And uh, obviously he's going to wait for his B sample. But um, I'm sorry, I have to tell you this type of news again. And in those instances, you see how Dana cares. You know, because a promoter would just be like, dude, test the you know, took time to talk to me, see how I was feeling to make sure everything was okay, you know. Uh, told me that, um, you know, if he cheated before the fight, then why am I not the champion? You know, so when this thing plays out, I, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but he wants to, uh, he said if, the, if he tested positive before the fight, how can the fight result count? And, uh, yeah, it made me sick. Dennis made me sick, like literally sick to my stomach. Uh, I talked to Nick on the day and he was texting me and I was just like, I feel bad. I was like, I, he's like, what do you, what do you feel? Like my pastor, he said, give me one word to tell me how you're feeling right now. And I go sick. It's, it just, it was this eerie feeling because it's almost like you would think you should be kind of happy. Like, Oh, well maybe I'm, maybe, maybe I should find some comfort in this. But I didn't, you know, it just really made me sad and just feel like I had to go lay down for a while uh, before I could start moving around again. Wow. Yeah, it was crazy. I saw it and I was like, no, was, someone sent it to me and they said, there's no way this is real, right? And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> so, it's like deja vu. So I think I, my text was like, it was super eloquent. It was something like, holy shit, fuck, or something like that. Yeah. It was <laughs> like a chain of cuss words, like you maybe eight in a row. No substance, no nothing, just a whole bunch of cuss words with a picture. It was like, what? It, yeah. it was like it was just really unbelievable. Yeah. And it was my phone ringing just constantly as I, uh, when that news came out, my phone just went insane. I had to turn it off. It's I turned my phone off. Yeah, it's crazy because it's like you've been through it again. You just went through that fight, which you went through. So, and then even if they say – run it back again he can't because he won't be able to fight he'll if, if it's if he is uh did test positive he'll be gone for a few <clears throat> years right they said four years right that's the max four years now they could give him two uh but i just i just i don't see how uh i don't see how in this situation it could be good because he, imagine if the B sample came back and it's like not negative or it's negative. He's not positive. Yeah, that's it's a, still that's such even a, more of a that's even more of like a mind fuck from the last. Yeah, day. but it's still just a stain, you know. Like why? Why would that? Why do? You, it's just so closely tied to him. You, you got to think about it. So, uh, when we fought in 2015, right? He tested positive for cocaine, right before the fight. And uh, this was before USADA, so our like his uh, his TE levels were just all over the place. Kind of looked like it would be something that someone had been doing something wrong, but there was no USADA to, to say that. So it's not. I can only thing I can really comment on is that he failed for the cocaine. Then at UFC 197, he fought over in St. Preux, and he passed his test. UFC 200, failed for a. Uh, uh, the banned substance again, which they say was the sex pills. And then this one again. So it's almost like three out of his last four fights, he's tested positive for something. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, that's a, that's a problem, you know? And I think even if they, uh, even if they, uh, they find that he was negligent again, as he was last year, I think 
they will say something to the effect of negligence doesn't allow for you to be not punished in the most severe way because you've done it time and time again. Yeah, repeated negligence is like. Yeah. It's not negligence at that yeah, point, that is point it? Just Isn't it just like you're right. making a decision? It's just stupidity. Because you, exactly. know, you know, I mean, there's. it's not like it's a common thing where half the guys are falling off the cards because of these things, right? Like, you know what you can do. You know, majority of the guys seem to be able to figure out what they can and can't take, whether it's supplements or sex pills, whatever else they're doing. Um, so, it's yeah, it's like you're still obviously either just – super sloppy and just being like oh whatever that here give me some of that give me some of that give me some of that <laughs> or something i think dc just just get like super roided up and just like, like could you just, imagine, like, could, just you fight imagine again. <laughs> could you imagine though nick at, yeah. at at 38 years old if i did something like that how much better i would feel in my day-to-day you saw me walk into the podcast room when i got there on that sunday yeah. i could barely walk up the stairs because the week had been so tough and taxing on me Imagine if I had the ability to recover faster or recover as I did when I was younger. Those are the types of things that make a difference whenever you're uh, whenever you're uh, doing that stuff. Now, the stuff that they are claiming that was in his system is some pretty uh, crazy stuff. You know, it's uh, yeah, like there's no other. There's, I think I read online there's there's no other ex. It's not create. It's not. It's not made for any other purpose, right? It's no, it, and I, I heard it's like. Uh, it's not even really like produced by any pharmaceutical company anymore. This is all strictly kind of black market thing. Now, I heard Chael Sonnen say something today that was uh, that was pretty interesting. It was if you caught that drug, which is a cheaper version of that, then you probably missed a lot of other stuff on the way to that one. And again, that's only assumptions. You know, I've said time and time again, John has the right to due process, but I tell you, man, it's not very common for a second sample to come back different than the first sample. It's the same piss. Yeah. It, you you piss Nick in a cup. They split it between two containers. I don't know how uh, there will be much difference between two uh, containers of the same piss. Now, how does it work? So you guys get paid. How 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 far after the fight do you guys get paid? Like, do they they literally right walk backstage and give you a check? We get a check right away. And now the UFC has started to do direct deposit. You know, before... So direct deposit, will, it's on a Saturday. You'll get it, like, it'll go in Monday night at midnight, Monday. whatever? Yeah, you get it right away. So I had a... I, uh, I, I, I'm kind of an old school guy. And they started doing direct deposit, and I freaked out. I was like, just give me a check like I'm used to. I was like, don't give me a direct deposit. I want to go to give the me bank a check like I'm used to. Yeah, I'm everyone to does that work, and it's like sitting here writing all these checks all the time, being like, "Can you please sign up for direct deposit?" Yeah, they hate it. They hate it. So I've got this big <laughs> check right now. So like, my fight purse was uh, I, it's it's public. You know, my fight purse was a million bucks. This is the last one, and uh, I still haven't deposited. It. I'm just kind of like I'm kind of just like, and it's not because it's a lot of money. It's just because of the fight, and it takes time to like the fight was such a bad mark you know that i hadn't really gotten to the point where i was like okay now i can go and deposit this money you know yeah. it's still sitting in the bank i know i have nine it's still sitting in my safe i have 90 days to uh to deposit it uh and if i don't deposit it in 90 days i can I, i'm sure i could probably get another one reissued you go like so, uh, ricky henderson and or didn't ricky henderson they found like he had like a he had like a hundred fifty thousand dollar check framed on his wall and I just like, it's like, it's like <laughs> the big checks. Yeah, it's just it's just I don't know. It's like because of everything that came with the fight. I think once I, I feel like after I was going to deposit the check, it's finality. You know, it's final. That yeah. chapter is done. UFC 214 is done where I went and I lost the title, you know, where Anaheim became hell. Like, I can't even take my kids to Disneyland anymore because I'm never <laughs> going back to Anaheim. Yeah. So it's like I think that's my mental hang up. Uh, with deposit in the check, so yeah, I still have that. I mean, I'm a month out of the fight. And then you guys, but you guys get later. You'll get like pay per view or what else that'll they calculate that yep. later. Yes, and if the pay per view did as well as they say it did, which it did, um, uh, we'll be getting some pretty big checks. The checks right away are, are massive uh, when it's the pay per view because then those big pay those big. So the pay per view comes in when you uh, uh, you get the uh, cable providers pay their share right so the bigger providers like direct tv and, and and cox and 
uh, Comcast and, and, and uh, you know, U-verse, they pay fast. You see a lot of money. The yeah. smaller ones, they pay later. So today I got a check for $1,300 from UFC 200. That was last July. Shit. You know, so it's like it just kind of keeps keeps just kind of rolling in. So in theory, though, he's got some money they could withhold from him. It's not like they have yes. to get, it's not like they have to get it back from him. No, I mean, there will be some fines. You know, uh, I'm sure there. I mean, they find Nate D, Nick Diaz a whole bunch of money for uh, testing positive for marijuana after the fight, right? Didn't they find like 800 grand or something crazy? Yeah, but if it's, so, so if it's your last fight, you could just be like, "Fuck you! I'm not paying it, and I'm just not going to fight again." Right? Hey, yeah, you could. It's like Dennis. But, I mean, he, Dennis guy, decided he'd he'd never go back to Kansas. <laughs> but this guy, but this guy's thirty years old. You know, this guy's gonna fight. You know, so yeah, that's true. Uh, this is gonna take a toll on him. I think uh, if John was to be, uh, if all this stuff was to come back real, I think in about a year or two, you'll start seeing him do some of the things that he used to do. The those grappling matches, like with Dan Henderson, yeah. uh, doing little things to try to make money because uh that money starts to run wear out after a time would you um consider grapp a grappling match with him or some other like 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 an nba 2k match with him or something in the future it's very hard though nick right like how do you let go of all the emotion that's tied to him and i's uh, rivalry well, that's what i mean like to keep like uh, nba 2k obviously was a joke but like, yeah but like a grappling match or something could you could i don't you think get, i could because i think that competitively we would want to fight oh, okay. it'd be hard to just wrestle or hard to just grapple box it'd be tough boxing you know we probably would do that i of course i would box him but uh that's just another way of fighting yeah how much time are you gonna take off to your next one you know dennis i think i think uh the the uh the suspension and the hold up with the title and everything else uh uh not the suspension i'm sorry yeah the suspension and and the collecting of the B sample, I think it gives me time. I think it gives me time to uh, to uh, rest because for all this stuff to clear up, I have to wait before I can make my next move. You know, so uh, we'll see uh, where we go. But how long, um, how, long does it, how long does it usually take for the B samples? Like a couple months? It could. You know, I did have a conversation with the the, the head of USADA, uh, Travis Tiger. And he said that he told his guys, he was like, I want this thing done yesterday because uh, it's such a high profile case that if we could get it done, uh, we could we could move past it, you know, and get John some clarity, uh, DC some clarity, the UFC some clarity. And he was very, very uh, aware of John's rights. And he shared nothing with me that in regards to his case. But uh, in terms of general generalities, he wanted to make sure that I had someone to speak to if I had any questions. And when I asked questions, he answered them to the best of his ability. But they do want to do it fast, but they do want to be very fair uh, to John and the due process. Makes sense. Speaking of fair, the uh, we both had the same problem the other night. We both ordered the fight on UFC Fight Pass, Ugh. and then I couldn't get on. And then I had to order. So then we had to order it again on <laughs> Showtime Pay Per View. And then I got two bills, and I'm like, "Wait, I'm gonna fight this first one." Yeah. But you know, not gonna get it. You're not gonna get oh, it back. Oh wait. It's through Apple, so then you got to go through Apple to get it back from UFC, and then. There's hope though. There's hope on the Showtime side. Huh. They said there's like a class action lawsuit or something getting built against Showtime, and they're giving refunds now. 